In this video, I wanted to share some tips to help keep your bait alive longer and also keep your bait a little bit more livelier when you're out there on the water, whether you're in a boat or you're on a kayak or you're fishing from shore, whatever the case may be, these tips will help you keep your bait alive longer and much livelier. So first thing is what you store your bait in, especially if you're fishing from shore or you're fishing from a kayak. You know, those plastic regular buckets, they'll get the job done, but I prefer to go with a cooler, whether it's a actual bait cooler, such as this one here. Uh, this is made by Magellan Outdoors from Academy Sports and Outdoors. I think this one was about 30 or 40 bucks. So uh, pretty cheap for a bait cooler, but you can use, you know, a standard cooler that you can buy at a store and then you can customize it to work as a bait cooler. But what I like about these bait coolers, uh, Angle also makes one as well. What they have is a hole, a pre-made pre hole inside. That way you can attach an aerator or a bubbler to your bait bucket. We're gonna talk about that here in a second. But what the cooler does is it helps regulate the temperature, keep the temperature pretty stable as opposed to a thin, uh, you know, like a bucket or something like that. So stabilizing the temperature can definitely help keep your bait alive longer and also keep them livelier. Now, if you're fishing in the summertime when it's really warm out, you really want to regulate the temperature of wherever you're keeping your bait, whether it's in, if it's in your live well in your boat or your cooler or your bucket, you want it to keep the temperature a little bit cooler. So have a frozen water bottle or you can get one of these uh, little ice blocks and just put them in the cooler. That'll help keep the temperature down a bit. But when you're fishing in the winter time, water temperatures are pretty cold, air temperatures are pretty cold, so you don't really have to worry about that too much in the winter time. Next, you want to have some type of bubbler or water circulating device. If you're in a boat, obviously you have your uh, pumps for your live well that will keep the water circulating, but also helps to add a bubbler even if you do have the water circulating because those bubbles help add oxygen to the water as it bubbles up and also it does help circulate the water if you are just using you know like a cooler or a bait bucket next tip is you never really want to dip your hands into your bait bucket i prefer to use a net a little small net and then just scoop out your bait as you need it so if you're using your hands you might have sunblock or you might have uh, you know some sort of chemicals fuel oil or something on your hands that will get into the water and that will kill your bait so try to avoid touching the bait or you know sticking your hands in the water definitely want to use a net to get your bait out now another tip to keep your bait alive longer and also keep them more livelier is to use some sort of additive to your bait bucket or your live well and this is pogi croaker saver and it works for salt water pretty much works for uh, any type of bait that i put in, in here whether it's shrimp croakers mullet pogies pigfish any type of bait works really well and what it does is it conditions the water it removes you know ammonia and odors from the water and it just keeps your bait alive longer because as your bait is sitting in your bait bucket or your live well you know they're they're doing their business and all those toxins get into the water and eventually it will kill your bait now in addition to treating the water another good tip is to actually replace some of the water throughout the day so what i like to do is just have a bucket with me a small a smaller bait bucket or a cup or something like that where you can take water from you know wherever you're at wherever you're fishing from the main body of water add it to your live well and then dump out any of the bad water so if you're using a cooler what I like to do is make sure you have a cooler that has a plug on the bottom and the reason behind that is because the water on the bottom is going to be the dirtiest that's where everything settles down so when you pull that plug it's going to drain water out from the bottom and then you can add fresh water into your bait bucket or your live well so again, just to sum up really quick what I talked about in this video to help keep your bait alive longer and keep it livelier. If you are storing your bait, keep it in some type of cooler that helps keep your water temperature more consistent. And in the summertime, you wanna keep your water cooler. So I highly recommend keeping a frozen water bottle or an ice block that you can put into the water to help keep that water cool. Also a bubbler that's gonna help oxygenate the water, keep that bait a lot more livelier and then a water additive made for saltwater bait 
that will remove toxins and condition the water to keep your bait livelier as well and also have some sort of net that you can scoop the bait out with you don't want to stick your hands into the water because again anything that may be on your hands that is toxic could get into the water and kill your bait and then throughout the day like i said before you know change out the water change a little bit of the water out throughout the day have a bucket with you pull some water out dump some fresh water back in so hopefully these tips can help you out if you are trying to keep your bait alive longer and also keep it much livelier throughout the day if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them down below also i'd like to know your feedback if you have any additional tips that you would like to share to help keep your bait alive longer and much more livelier so definitely let us know down below until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. If you are new to Salt Strong, we are the online fishing club that helps you catch more fish while saving money on your favorite tackle and gear. So if you'd like to learn more, go to saltstrong.com and we'll see you there. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live Salt Strong and wet a lot